Daryl Osby. He's the fire chief for Los Angeles County. Chief Osby, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, what is the latest, Chief? We just heard 30% contained. Does that sound about right? And what are your biggest worries here uh, that's, today? That's about, that's about right. We had crews working all night last night trying to contain the fire. So right now we're still at 30%. We're going to have a briefing this morning at 6 o'clock to get an update. So our biggest concern is that we have containment, that as the sun rises, we're going to have additional winds. And also in Southern California, we're expecting 80-degree weather. So we have our crews working all night trying to contain this fire to keep all the embers contained within the fire perimeter. Chief, it seems a little unusual in January to have a fire this intense. We understand the drought continues. You've got those winds to battle. Uh, what is the red flag warning that was issued until Friday? The red flag warning is for high temperatures, low humidities, and winds from the north-northeast. And this is an extreme drought season. This is the third year of an ongoing drought in Southern California. And we've kept records as it relates to rainfall for over 100 years. And this is the driest year on record. Mm -hmm. To date, we've had less than one inch of rainfall. And the uh, fuels and brush and trees here are the critical state, as uh, you will see in the middle of the summer, as it relates to their dryness. So it's right for a large wildland fire. How on edge do other communities in the area need to be? Uh, we need, we're extremely concerned because this is the third year of an ongoing drought. Um, everything is extremely dry, so there's any spark is going to result in a 100% chance of a fire. Um, our 10-day forecast indicates there's no rain in sight, mm -hmm. so we're going to have warm temperatures, so all of our people need to be aware of a potential wildland fire. Los Angeles County Fire Chief Daryl Osby, thank you, and thanks to the firefighters on the ground there. Great job. Thank you very much. Well, let's get to Al, because as the chief just mentioned, weather is a huge factor here. Absolutely is. And as the chief alluded to, there is no end in sight. Here's the pattern. This has been basically the same pattern. Jet stream up to the north, and then this big ridge of high pressure has built in. And this is the next 10 days at least. And as you can see, look at how extensive the extreme drought is. In the last week, it's extended from 27% to 62% in California. Here's the fire from the space, the satellite, the Colby fire, and those winds continue to blow, and here's what's going on. Still strong Santa Ana winds coming down the mountain, dry, humid, air, uh, warm air. There is no humidity in the air. The vegetation very dry, so this is critical for rapid fire growth. And look at the red flag warnings, how huge they are throughout much of California, and you can also see for today, the fire weather forecast is extremely high throughout a good part of Southern California. And guys, this ridge is staying in place. It is not going anywhere it's soon. So they're going to have big problems for at least the next 10 to 15 days. Yeah, it does yeah. not bode well, especially this time of year. Al, thank you very much.